Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So I think this is episode, yeah, episode 87 now. I mean, we're getting close to that 90, so I wonder what we'll be doing for that and then 100 as well. But yeah, it's been almost a week, week since we've done one of these. But yeah, without um, further ado guys, we'll just get straight into it. So the system we've got today is from um, Nathan Universe. We haven't seen one from him in a long time. He posted this last week. Um... Uh, he's called Nathan the Nerd now, but yeah, Nathan Universe um, back in the day. And yeah, his system is called the Shy System or the She System, however you want to say it. So let's go ahead and search this up like so. And here we go. Right. Let's see what he has got for us today. Right. Here we go. Oh, OK. Looking good. Right. Liking the colors in it. OK, so humans have bailed from the solar system and have gotten lost in the Milky Way. Astronauts have stumbled upon a hatable area of life. Now humans' goal to colonise the entire system. Hundreds of satellites are being manufactured per day to reach this goal. Nathan is back, boy. All right. Cool. I'm liking this. So an all-black background as well. All right. Let's go ahead and enter to the first object of... Or the first object, the star here. So let's go ahead and check out his stats. So, all right. So a little larger than the sun than most of the stats here. Four times in luminosity, or 4.6 times there, as you can see. Right, so let's get uh, let's see the disc on this guy. Okay, so the Hatsball stuff should be in the green and blue bits then, hopefully. So, right, here we go. So here is this star. Right, so moving on to the first object. So we have some probes here. I won't bother zooming on those since you guys know what they already look like. So there's that one. Right, so the first object is Tron, the dwarf planet. Okay, so a very small Mercury-like dwarf planet here. The colour on it actually looks really cool as well. I like the colours. A dark brownish object. So 123 degrees here. And wow, he's run this simulation a lot. Look, 9.7 million years he's ran this for. Okay, so this must be pretty stable. Unless he just ran it for ages, then made it afterwards. Who knows? But um, yeah, there it is. So first object. Right, now moving on to the next object here. Actually, what object has that crazy orbit? Oh, it's that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we'll go to this object here. So United Globe... Actually, which one does have that white orbit? I'm trying to work out what object this white orbit is from. It looks like it's coming from this object here. But then what orbit goes around the star? Huh. What what that white orbit's all about. But anyways, yeah, here it is. So this is a um, Haspel world by the looks of it. 16 degrees, a little larger than the Earth is. And would be considered the super Earth, I believe. Pretty dusty looking object with a lot of... Um, brownish colored clouds that's what it looks like underneath there it looks actually looks really cool with the clouds i'm liking that so 16 degrees let's check the stats down below 96 and 35 so pretty good stats on there so there we are all right so that's the united globe the ug so that's probably the new home world of humans there right oh it's this object here this is the so that's the juno probe so that object isn't orbiting the planet it's going all the way around like that all right cool so yeah there was also a moon called tino orbiting the um ug here so let's go ahead and check it out so here it is so it's a more uh, orange golden colored object here so there we are 200 degrees here so pretty warm right so there we go all right so next up we've got unnamed quasi moon okay so this is just a tiny little um object there not really much to check out right now we have this object here so ophelia Oh, hell yeah. So here it is. So it's a gas giant, as we can see. 70,000 kilometers, so bigger than Jupiter in this radius and mass there. So there we go. It's got a ring as well, like Jupiter. So I'm guessing this is the Jupiter of the system then. So he's got a Justini spacecraft. Okay. Cloud band observer. All right, yo. It's cool when people use probes like this. And then we've got observer one orbiting it. Awesome stuff. So let's turn all of that so you can see the rings there looking good. All right. And it's also tilted in its side like Uranus as well. All right. So we have um, some moons here. And they're all little asteroid ones by the looks of it. All right. Right, so moving on now to um, another dwarf planet by the looks of it. Oh, no, hang on. No, we've got Geno next as well, which is where that probe back there was heading to. So here's this one here. So this one is rolling with the uh, a, a two-tone colored atmosphere, as you can see. Because in this area here, it's more white, as you can see. But as you go up to the darker areas, it goes to more of a purple color. So it's got one of those uh, two-tone atmospheres um, right here. So here we go. So it's pretty chilly in temperature, as you can see. Relatively decent size. It's larger than Mars there. There we go. I'm liking the colour choice on it as well. With the um, colour underneath the atmosphere, I think it does fit quite well there. So that's it there. Looking good. So just about um, probably hatable for humans, I guess. I mean, there's some stats on there you can see. 
But yeah, there's not much life going on by the looks of it with the colour of the atmosphere or the object. But you can also see it's got some pretty cool looking rings. So it looks like it's got a Uranus ring with a uh, Jupiter ring after it as well. But yeah, there we go there. And then it has one little moon too. Right, cool. So there we go. Right, now we're moving on to Wilma, the dwarf planet. Okay, so over here, it looks like a Titan from first glimpses here. So here we go. So it has a little atmosphere. A little smaller than Pluto and Eris as well. So definitely a dwarf planet size. A new search for life. Got a very close probe to this object here. Is that literally... It's almost in the... It actually is in the atmosphere. Because, yeah, we... Yeah, I'd say that's literally just hovering in the atmosphere, that thing. Or at least very close. It looks like it is in the atmosphere, though. So that's extremely close to the planet. Then we have Hawking over here, which is a little moon of it. Right, awesome stuff. So, moving out now. Where are we heading next? Alright, so we have this one next. So this is Olga, it's just a little um, little spherical asteroid there, so there's not really too much to see there. Now we've got Nathan over here, and this is a all cyan gas giant here, looking good. Also has a little ring on it as well. So this one's even bigger than Ju the Jupiter size one we saw back there, 90,000 kilometers. It's got less mass though, so it's also got some moons, so we'll go ahead and check the first one out. So this is Rocco here, it's an all frozen up, so search for life mission 2 here. This one is minus 270 degrees. So, yeah, this guy is very, very cold right there. So that will definitely not be a good place for life unless we have ultra-cold spacesuits. Uh, next up, we've got Sasa Dot here, which is just a, a regular moon-looking object. Not really too much going on here. Then we have Zed here, little asteroid. Yui, also a little asteroid. Oreos here, or Oreos, yeah. Um, so that one's all like that. Crump of cheese. We have Core. Um, is that all of them? think it is yeah i think that's all of them oh there's one more down here which is bing bong and that is also a little asteroid object there right yo so that is the one done all right now we're moving on to latch over here so here we go so this one is a random spawn gas giant by the looks of it and it's got some moons we've got steve here and then we have randy that's a frozen ice world also with a ring as well a lot of ringed objects in here pretty cool so there we are Next up, we've got Raymond over here, which is another random spawn gas giant by the looks. So 20,000, it's about Planet Nine size. Pretty good random spawn, actually, with a brown in the south, grey in the middle, and then brown in the north. It's not a bad random spawn. That's actually got a decent one, I have to say. Pretty cool. Um, then we have Sandy over here, which is a little asteroid as well. Rightio. Uh, now, next up, we have Yan here. And wow, I'm loving that atmosphere colour. That is a very nice lime green. It almost reminds me of like a highlighter neon green. That's a pretty cool shade of green he's uh, got here. Very nice. So there we go. So 20 degrees here. So it's a little larger than Mars as well. And it also has it. So, oh, yin yang. Okay. Yeah, yin yang. Okay. So yeah, here's yin and then that one's yang. All right. So um, this one is also rolling with a lime green atmosphere as well. Nice color choices for those guys. So there we go. Right, so, all right, moving a lot further out to the next object, which is Tatin over here, going with a pink color atmosphere. And, oh, I know this object. This, I think, I was thinking this to myself, was I think a lot of these are from the template simulation that um, we released on the workshop, because I, I have a copy of this, and this object is very old. This is, um, if I go to the custom gas giants down here, well, I've not opened this menu in a while, um, all the way down near the bottom, it should be here somewhere. If it would uh, load a full stuff. Yeah, I recognise this. This is a really, really old modded gas giant, this object. Yeah, this is the... Uh, cl oh, what's it? The... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Hmm. Can it load my pictures, please? Come on, we've got a lot of objects in here. It does take quite a while to load them all. So where is it? It's one of the gas giant objects. Uh, yeah, the peach. This object here. That is a very old object he's picked there. Very nice addition, I have to say. So it's 50,000... I um, mean, radius there, very distant from the star as well. I mean, look how small the star is from here. Pretty far out stuff. It's quite fairly dark here too. So yeah, there we go. It also has a moon, which is Lena here, and that's a very interesting look object. Look at that. So it's a blue surface with a red atmosphere and very, very vicious looking red clouds. Very nice choice there. Really like that one. Um, and we have Dolphin out here, which is just another little asteroid there. Righty-o. Now we have Victor over here. This is another Titan-looking object. About the size of Earth. Got a way less mass. And look how dark it is here. We're getting really far out from the star now. Very, very dark surface underneath. How far are we from the star? So it's a 691-year-old bit. So we're around 80 AU away. Wow. So this is further than Neptune from our sun. Then we have Curio over here as well. So there are those guys. Right. So 
There's one more object, which is another dwarf planet, so Idel over here. And this thing is takes 2,600 years to go around the star, so this is a very far out object here. Probably around Sedna sort of distance. It's all completely dark as well. So we'll go on studio so we can actually see underneath. So there it is. So a pretty uh, barren looking object um, as well. Very, very cold here. It's never This simulation has never been played by the looks of it because this thing has zero seconds on age. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, that is the last object. So I'm guessing the star is extremely small from here. Yeah, there we are. So yeah, very, very far away as we can see. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is it for um, this solar system. So yeah, this was the Xi system here, as um, shown by the star. And yeah, here are the planets in here. I have to say, though, I think my, one of my favorite gas giants was the... I have to say the random spawn one. I think that is a really good looking random spawn with the uh, grey there and then the brown at the top and the bottom. I think that's a I think that's a cool looking random spawn there. Favorite rocky planet is 100% the UG. I think it looks really good with the um, atmosphere color he's picked with it. Instead of it just being ultra green happy, I think it's not. I think it's pretty interesting. He's taken a, a lot more of a uh, dirty looking tone to it. I guess the brownish sort of dirt looking color, sandy atmosphere. I guess I like that. I think that looks really good with the uh, green and blue underneath. Of the ocean and land i have to say this red one though with the blue surface underneath that was also a really cool looking object as well definitely like that one but yeah that my top two are definitely the uh the ug and then the random spawn gas giant here raymond so yeah they're my top two but yeah you guys let us know what you think down below in the comments as well for the system guys and yeah if you've got your own systems to send in make sure to join my discord link in the description and then um you can send them in on my discord server there and also guys make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're new and help us at 8,000 subscribers as i believe right now we are only two subscribers away so yeah we are we'll probably get it today i mean we are so close actually no i've just refreshed the page we have now hit eight thousand subscribers so we've hit eight thousand on camera here guys so massive massive thank you to you all we'll have to arrange a special um episode or something for eight thousand yeah we've literally just hit it because when i started filming this we were still at seven thousand uh nine hundred something but yeah, now we're 8,000. So yeah, massive, massive thank you to you guys. That's much, much appreciated. And yeah, subscribe and help us on the journey to 9,000 subscribers now. It's going to feel weird saying that. But yeah, massive, massive thank you to all guys. And also, let me know down below in the comments what you think of um, the system and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye.